I'm Eric Qualcomm, the largest maker of cell phone chips, taking a tour of their gadget lab. As growth in the smartphone market slows, the company wants to get its technology into just about any other device it can, including drones. So when you look at the cellular network today, yeah. it's reliable, it's ubiquitous, mm. uh, has a high level of security and yeah. availability. They're handing off to different cell towers and maintaining that communications link. In, in simple terms then, that drone is basically a smartphone. Yes. Qualcomm's idea for drones is that they connect to cell phone towers the same way your mobile phone does. They want drones to be able to fly miles away without human control. The problem with letting drones off the leash, particularly in built-up areas, is that the FAA has set rules which mean a human has to be in control and able to see them at all times. Lighter, now it's going towards the waypoint. You see it go? Drones using cellular technology could be a real game changer, but the company has to convince the FAA their autonomous drones aren't going to drop out of the sky or run into things. The researchers down in the gadget lab are fine-tuning drones so that accidents don't happen. Building a map of the environment allows the drone to fly, fly safely in very confined spaces. As I keep exploring the environment, the map grows bigger. It's, it's preventing me from, from so, going any farther. So it's making a decision that there's a barrier there, I don't want to fly into it, it's, I'm not going to do that. It's, even though you're commanding me to do it, I'm saying no way. I'm not going to do that. The FAA has given Qualcomm permission to test their cell phone connected drones on the roof of its San Diego headquarters. I'm not controlling it at this time. It's fully uh, hands-off automated flight. If you look around this whole area, we have a mix of the commercial buildings, yep. we have residential, yep. uh, rural environment, uh, power lines, you name it, that the drone is going to have to navigate. Qualcomm says it's done more than 500 flights so far without any incident. If they can persuade the FAA that these drones are safe to be out on their own, we could be seeing these flying cell phones everywhere.